All right, so today I'm going to show you how to make a bolus for oncology purposes, and we'll take a really complicated one. We'll do a face. So here's a scan that I acquired with our Peel 2 scanner. It took about 20 seconds, maybe that. And the first thing I'm going to do is turn on, I don't normally do this, but I'm going to turn on the triangles to show you the size of the triangles because I actually... Um, scanned it at two millimeters. I could have scanned it at less, but it's probably enough for uh, a, a bolus. And that's basically it. So I'm going to, first of all, send that scan to my modeling software, my VX model, and we're going to work on the scan mesh. So we're going to we'll actually work on the mesh and we're going to leave the original scan alone. And I'm going to call it um, Bolus mesh. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to trim it to the overall extent of the, the bolus. So I'm going to cut this um, mesh to the shape of the bolus mask. There's a function in uh, a software called cut mesh by curve you select it and you just start selecting the curve by which you want to cut the face now i'm not a medical expert so i'm just making a rough guess at where a, a fitting a close fitting mask might go And there I've decided my curve. It's gone white to show that it's an except it's it's functional, it will work. And I choose apply. And I can see which one I want to keep and which one I don't. So that's okay. And what I haven't done is turned off the original scan, so you can't actually I need to turn that off. And now we have the face mask, which is the bolus mesh, and the cut mesh by curve, which is the remainder. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to actually extrude it to make because this is a zero thickness surface okay so we're going to extrude it by a shell offset mesh function and all that does is I say I want to offset it to the inside or the outside in this case this surface is the accurate representation of the face so I'm going to offset it to the outside so the inside remains the good fit and then it's just a matter of specifying the thickness that you want so i can i i think one millimeter would be enough maybe you use two in your uh, bolus application but that's your choice so i just to apply and we now have a double thickness sealed mask so that we, we actually have our shape. I'm going to just briefly turn off the, the wireframe so that you can see and go back to our. So I'm OK with that. There we have our accurate representation, representation on the inside and our slightly expanded shell on the outside. You'll probably want to cut at least breathing holes. So. I'm going to use an interesting tool called the brush tool and I'm going to choose the select through function to basically cut, you hold down the control key and I'm going to cut roughly that size. I might want to reduce my brush size to make those holes a bit bigger, smaller, sorry. So a cut there, which selects some triangles on both sides, if we look through, you see that the selection is on the inside as well and I just choose delete 
and I'm going to do another cut here with my brush. Control, delete. And then if I want, I can make those um, boundaries a little smoother. So I can, uh, in fact, I can tell it that I want to make a circular boundary here. Apply. And a circular boundary here. Apply. And I can actually turn it around and do the same on the inside boundaries. Apply. Apply. And now we've got, if we look very carefully, we've got a hole through this shell. And we have an excellent hole fill function. But if I fill it now, it will fill the top hole and the bottom hole. And what I want it to do is actually fill this gap. So here we're going to just do a little trick. Where I just got to accept those new air holes. And we're going to our hole fill function. And I'm just going to first build a little bridge across these two holes. So it works on the, the method I call left, right, middle. So left, right, middle, and then left, right, middle. And now it's built a bridge. I should have maybe chosen flat, but it doesn't really matter. It's not affecting the underlying mask. And so now I can go to select a complete hole and it, this complete hole will be this. So I just choose fill. And in fact, I will change it to flat before I do that. And now I've filled my mask because we're going to have to 3D print this mask. So now we've got a filled nose hole there and I just have to do the same thing on the other side. So I go into my bridge, left, right, middle, left, right, middle, and then go to complete hole fill at flat curvature for the rest of this hole. And there I've got, whoops, there you are. So now I've got a breathing hole and you can do the same for the mouth. I'm not going to do it here. So you've got a 3D printable. In fact, we will just check that it is waterproof by clicking on this and asking for its properties. And it says it's watertight. And a watertight mesh can be printed on any 3D printer. So it's, it's done. You can export these details if you need them. But this file can be sent to a 3D printer to make a perfectly fitting bolus. And the whole process didn't take very long. Thank you very much.